Aquaculture in China has a long history, the roots of which can be traced back 2,000 years. Driven by ongoing policy reforms and increasing economic concerns, China's aquaculture production has experienced an expansion in output. According to the country's Fisheries Bureau, China has more than 4.5 million fish farmers, producing nearly two-thirds of the world's cultured seafood. From the Bohai Sea to the South China Sea, we can spot millions of fish floating farms in the coastal waters, where marine crustaceans such as shrimps and mollusks such as oysters are raised in artificial environments. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at what makes China the number one country in floating fish farms, and what are the latest updates of China's floating fish farms technology. According to the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, China accounts for two-thirds of global aquaculture production. In 2020 the total output of China's fishing industry was 65 million tons, 50 million tons of which came from floating fish farms. Southeastern China's Fujian province produces 75% of the total output of China's fish farming industry. However, in recent years, production has fallen and the vast sea was nearly empty due to overfishing, pollution, and poor practices. Building artificial, advanced, and sustainable fish farms became the priority to keep feeding the 1.4 billion population. So apart from building massive traditional floating farms, they also invested in high-tech innovations and technologies to build smart and sustainable floating fish farms. Their last breakthrough is a giant fish farm capable of producing 3,700 tons of fish every year including yellow croakers, groupers, and Atlantic salmons. This production is similar to Chagan's output, the country's biggest freshwater lake. The largest of its kind worldwide, the Chinese fish farm is equipped with 15 tanks, each larger than two standard swimming pools. The giant ship, named Guishina-1, is 820 feet long and 148 feet wide, with a dead weight of 100,000 tons and a displacement of 130,000 tons, big enough to survive giant storms. The $67 million mobile farm uses an innovative breakthrough technology that provides a steady flow of seawater to be pumped into the tanks, maintaining a stable environment. Basically, there is a non-stop water exchange between the tanks and the sea that helps control the breeding environment. The advanced technologies used in this mega vessel allow a breeding density five times higher than traditional fish farms, with a shorter production cycle by 25%. All the processes are monitored using sensors, underwater cameras, and an automatic feeding system. The fish farm is expected to operate in the Yellow Sea and the South China Sea, where fish breeding can be done in the ideal temperatures. According to the manufacturer, two more fish farming ships are being built and scheduled to be delivered by March 2024. Now if you have any thoughts about China's fish farming industry that you think would be constructive and helpful, then dive down to the comments section below and leave your thoughts there. And don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notifications bell. See you in the next video.